traditional setting of the venue of the celebration and the variety of traditional dishes was a sight to behold. The arrival of Ezuzu Ichida into the venue changed the tune of the celebration as many left their seats to welcome him and his entourage in the Igbo traditional way. Million Wiro Cultural Group and the Anyi Don Onyi Chaka thrilled the audience. <laughs> The Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Engineer Lawrence Ejofo, represented by one of his aides, the Omu of Anyoma, Obi Mafadunku, represented by the Secretary of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, Mr. Patrick Oche, the Obi of Isela Zaba, who was also represented, stressed the importance of culture and tradition to the development of the society, adding that they were impressed with the way the Nwatuibu NTITV have focused its programs on promoting the people's culture. They lauded the managing director of the station, High Chief Camillus Eze, for citing his office in Delta State and reiterated the efforts of Governor Fanyo Koa to preserve culture and promote tourism in the state. Culture of every tribe in Delta State, he has always been passionate about it. You can see from all he's doing, uh, and I believe he has something else that he's, he's, that he's already hidden that he wants to bring into, into light very soon. He, I think uh, I wouldn't want to open the, the basket before the state government, but the, the, the senator, Dr. Ifan Yokowa, the government is very passionate about culture. I'm impressed with what they are doing here today, you know, talking about culture. Culture is about the way of life, you know, it's about us. So people are, you can see people are coming back home. People are beginning to recognize those things that our forefathers used to do. What I saw is a terrible something because I've never seen it in my life since I was born. So I don't know much about our distant culture, but I appreciate what they have done here today. Visibly elated guests of Igbo origin who came from different parts of the country to identify with one of their own, including those from the GIST TV, the Odima Igbo Forum, and Adandi Igbo Worldwide, Princess Ezia Makaizugu, enjoined citizens to utilize every opportunity to promote their culture irrespective of their location and commended NTI TV for making Ndibo proud. I am encouraging them to make sure that our language doesn't die. Our language must live to eternity. Everybody must come back to our culture. This event today is like an educative event that we encourage our young ones to learn our culture, our language, and to know where they came from. My word to him is for God to bless him. And so there's no Igbo man that will not uh, like his culture. So I appreciate so much seeing other people participating in our culture. Oh my God, we have, if we, even so many of us have been seeing what he has been doing. Eh? And we are so grateful that he stood for the Igbos. You can see, without being told, look around, first step is like this, how would the second step be? May God Almighty continue to guide him, protect him, direct him, more word of wisdom. It's very, very important that everybody, both Yoruba, Aousa, Igbo, they should copy their culture, their tradition. Let them start where they stop. Everything about tradition is very important. It's a nice, it's a nice culture and very beautiful. So any country you go and no see Igbo man, he leave that place. No good thing uh, is not there. The managing director of the Nwatu Igbo NTI TV High Chief Camillus Eze, who hailed from Ihiala in Anambra State, said the online television was born out of his love and passion for things related to the Igbo culture adding that NTI TV would continue to promote the Igbo culture to ensure its sustenance. So we're trying to bring back our culture 
okay uh, and i have um, i have love i have passion in terms of um, Igbo culture i love it so much in fact i embrace my my culture that is Igbo for me high point of the celebration were performances from various groups including the okanga group iselazaba ogene akarugo among others eunice emeazia reporting